Hi, Carleton community. Welcome to our second installment of Interviews with Alumni, Life After Graduation. This week, I sat down with Anthony Kulbeka, a recent grad of the Carleton Music Program. Check it out. I started playing jazz piano, more or less, whenever I was 13. So that, uh, as I, and, I, and whenever I was playing jazz piano, I was currently, I was studying with Eva Rush back then. And whenever I was studying jazz piano, I would often go to this camp called the Carlton Jazz Camp. But in my high school years, I would go every single year, all the way from when I was 13 up until um, even my early years in university. So I took that experience and kind of molded that into why I eventually decided on going to Carlton. And it also helped as well, because through this camp, I actually knew a number of the professors that were currently teaching at Carlton, like Mark Bergerson was at the camp, Mike Tremblay was at the camp, uh, James McGowan was a, was a faculty member of the camp, Nick Dyson. Um, the professors are really high, like they're really top notch. Um, and I really want like an individualized like study way. Like Mark Ferguson was the teacher that I ended up going with um, because I realized what he had done. He was known as a pretty heavy hitter in the Abba Jazz scene. So um, I wanted all the opportunities in the world to be able to study with him. But it was, like, I got so, and one thing that Carlton's really good for is that um, they have a deep amount of care for, like, they they deeply care about their students. Um, every single teacher that's there always wants for students to do well, not only within the music experience at Carlton, but also outside of that, too. And that's something that a lot of um, Carlton teachers or Carlton professors really encourage their students to do. Basically, yeah, I made a whole bunch of, like, lifelong connections and lifelong friends at Carlton, like everybody's really tightly knit. And then as well as that, I also got on quite a number of gig opportunities through Carlton as well. Um, during my four years I played at Carlton, um, John Higney, he was the professor that got me most of them. Basically, I ended up playing a lot of private gigs uh, for different events that were happening within Carlton. And this really expanded my scene to be able to play and be out there and be kind of out there as a gigging musician. Uh, well, right now, um, ever since I've um, graduated from Carleton, I've been a student at the University of Toronto. So I'm a master's in jazz performance student there now. And um, with that, so yeah, basically I moved to Toronto, but it's not the only thing that I've done. I've also continued to teach lessons as well. Um, through online, actually, I currently work at a music school called Sunnyside Music School. So I've been one of their teachers there. I've been teaching lessons um, for the past year there in full. I mean, back whenever it was open, I would go and physically and teach. But um, I was I've been able to teach um, a good number of students um, online, for, even even with me being in Toronto, like it, it works really, really well. 